So is it important to you to leave a good legacy, a good heritage? The Bible says that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children, yet there are so many men in their prime who have financial success, relationship success, or relational success, social success, but it doesn't last. Part of the reason why you can start out great, have success in your 30s, your 20s, your 40s, and then die broke, die divorced, die alone, is because men have not learned how to defeat the giants that slay us. I believe there are five giants that every man must learn to identify and defeat in his life. And it doesn't matter how perfect you are. It doesn't matter how successful you are. It doesn't matter how religious or righteous you believe you are. There is not a man watching me that's, that, that is wiser than Solomon, that is stronger than Samson, or has a heart for God like David. And yet each of these men were defeated by one of these giants. So there are five giants that you need to learn to defeat. I want to tell you what they are, and when we come back, we'll talk a little bit about Desi Arnaz and how his inability to identify and defeat two of these giants in his life, maybe three, how it led to the destruction of his heritage, his reputation. Now, when people think of Desi Arnaz, do they think of him as a dancer, an actor, a singer, an entertainer? Or do they think of him as the vices that destroyed his life? Hi, this is Sean, the Wisdom Coach. Are you ready to conquer the giants in your life? Introducing the Slay the Giants 5-Day Challenge exclusively for men. Discover the 4.7 giants that every high-achieving man must defeat so that you will not destroy yourself, your wealth, or your relationships. The five giants that every high-achieving man must learn to identify and defeat are unrighteous anger, untempered lust, unrecognized sloth, unrepentant pride, and unlawful people-pleasing. It's time to take control. It's time to slay the giants and unleash the best version of yourself. Click on the link below and register now. Sean Isaacs here, the Wisdom Coach, with the passion to help you get wisdom for business, for life, and for relationships. Over the last couple of days, as we prepare for Father's Day, I've been encouraging, challenging, exhorting, and admonishing high-achieving, high-value, successful men who may be there in their prime right now. You may be there in your prime to not be comfortable because there are many men whose lives have been impacted in some way because they failed to defeat these giants in their life. I want to talk to you a little bit about Desi Arnaz. Desi Arnaz. We've talked about Sammy Davis Jr. Desi Arnaz is I Love Lucy. Some of you have heard of I Love Lucy. Others of you have never heard of I Love Lucy. <laughs> Desi Arnaz, who is he? He was considered to be in his prime which would have been the 1950s to 60s, one of the most popular and successful television stars in the United States. During this, his, his prime, he starred in the hit television series, I Love Lucy, alongside his wife at that time, Lil Ball, which was one of the most successful shows of the era, and it still has remained a beloved classic to this day. Arnaz's performance as the character Ricky Ricardo was a major contributing factor to the, the show's success. Why am I highlighting him in his prime? Because the point here is, just like Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, Kevin Samuels, and other men who achieve success in major areas of life, a lack of ability to identify and defeat one or more of these giants in our lives can lead to destruction. So let's talk about his income. Arnaz was one of the highest paid television stars of his, of his time. He was reportedly earning $20,000 per, $20, per episode. That may not sound like a lot of money 
That's a lot of money to many, even in 2023. But imagine in 1950, 1960, $20,000 was like a million dollars today, in my opinion. By the end of the show's run, he was earning $20,000 per episode. He was also a successful businessman with interest in television production and other ventures. In terms of success, Arnaz, Desi Arnaz, Mr. Ricky Ricardo, was a pioneer in television in the television industry, helping to create the modern te television sitcom format and paving the way for future generations of television stars and producers. He was also a talented musician and performer, and his contributions to the entertainment in industry have made him a beloved figure to this day. I watched his life story maybe a couple years ago, two or three years ago, I think on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, you should. Because it's a picture of what success could look like and then what destruction can look like when you don't defeat, in his case, the giant of lust or greed, the giant of pride, and the giant of people pleasing. So, Mr. Arnaz's infidelity, infidelity and alcoholism caused significant strain on his marriage to Lucille Ball, which ended in divorce. Men. If you've been following me this whole week, there are some common denominators to the things that destroy men's lives. One of them is women. The other is alcohol, which can, which can be a gateway for other areas or other challenges. The scripture says in Proverbs 31, my son, give not your strength, your virtue, to women or to that which destroys kings. You may be a king today, but I promise you, you won't remain a king if you don't learn how to defeat these giants. Mr. Arnaz's extramarital affairs or adulterous relationships were highly publicized and they affected his reputation as a husband and a father. Now again, in 2023, adultery is not seen as a big issue in many circles. But in 1950 and 1960, in America, that was a big issue. Mr. Arnaz also had some health challenges because of these vices in his life. He struggled with alcoholism, which caused significant health problems, including liver damage, which impacted his ability to perform. His addiction also caused him to miss shows and events, which affected his reputation and career opportunities. Guys, there's nothing new under the sun. Whether it's R. Kelly, it's Bobby Brown, it's, I don't know, Bruce Springsteen, or whatever person you believe was successful or is successful today. The things that bring men down tend to be the same. An inability to control lustful or greed, greedy desires, laziness in an area of life, pride and inability to hear or listen to the counsel, the guidance, the correction of others, maybe a superior attitude because of the money you have, what you've, your possessions you have, what you've been able to acquire in knowledge or insight, somehow that makes you feel superior to others. These are the things that continue to draw, to destroy men. Mr. Arnaz's addiction also caused him to miss shows and events which affected his reputation and his career opportunities. And guys, this is happening in 2023 as well to men, to athletes, to Hollywood superstars, to entertainers, to business men. What about business problems for Mr. Arnaz? His gambling addiction caused him to lose significant amount of money, which impacted his ability to maintain his businesses. His addiction also caused him to miss business opportunities and events, which affected his reputation and his career, which also led to a bunch of legal issues. He was arrested for possession in 1954 of marijuana. Guys, whether it's marijuana, which is now legal in many states, or it's cocaine, or it's heroin. The point is, these are things that can dominate a man's life. And if you don't learn how to put these things to death, 
I promise you they will destroy one or more areas of your life. So this caused significant public scrutiny and impacted Mr. Arnez's reputation. The arrest also caused legal problems which affected his career and his personal life. So my point in all of this is that Mr. Arnez, though in his prime, made minimum $20,000 a show. Without going into all the other money he made with all of his investments and all of his businesses. And if you watch his life story, he was a smart businessman that came from nothing, from poverty. He didn't even understand the English language. If I remember when he moved to the United States, which shows there are opportunities for success for anyone in America, in my opinion, if you're willing to put in the work. That's not the problem. If you want to, you can make six figures, seven, eight, even nine figures if you're willing to give up stuff or give up something to get there. But my point is not how much success you can attain or achieve. Can you maintain that success? The only way to do that is to slay the giants in your life. And Mr. Arnez did not slay the giants of lust and people pleasing and pride. And I say that sadly. So despite his success as an actor and a businessman, Arnez's struggles with addiction and personal relationships have affected his legacy. Like, Sam, like Sammy Davis Jr., he is often remembered for his tumultuous marriage, in his case to Lucille Ball, and his struggles with alcohol and gambling rather than his contributions to the entertainment industry. There's a lesson here, man, for you and me. There's nothing new under the sun, number one. Secondly, it is said that experience is the best teacher. I say no, the experience of another is the best teacher. And if you're wise, you can look at how vices defeated someone else's life, take note, and make correction in your own life. This man, unfortunately, destroyed his heritage. Some have destroyed their wealth, others their reputation, Elvis Presley destroyed his health. Tom Hanks also destroyed his health, according to him, by being lazy. But thank God, he found a way to defeat the giant in his life. And he was able to get rid of that health challenge. And there are those like Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates who probably don't care but who destroyed their marriage. And there are those who destroyed their family some have destroyed their legacy. Tomorrow we'll talk about those who've destroyed their lives. I'm the Wisdom Coach. If you are committed and serious about defeating pride, laziness, lust, anger, and people pleasing in your life, go to Slay the Giants Challenge now and register. This is a five-day challenge, a five-day event that will help any man learn how to identify the, the, the giants in, in his own life and then how to defeat them. Thank you. Have a good day.